Hi everyone, Damien Fate here, and welcome back to Undertale. I'm continuing my adventure through these very spooky labs. Uh, I think the only door I haven't gone through so far is this one. Ooh. Engine number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the family- Oh, wait, Varda read this. Let's see. Ooh. This is creepy. Entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask me when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Wow. So... Oh! Uh, there's a switch on the wall. Press it. Yes. Ah, it's less foggy in here now. <clears throat> so I was just... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, creepy ghost dog. Hi. It's the amalgamate. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. The tentacles form in the shape of cats and dogs or something down there too. That's kind of creepy. All right, let's check you. It's unclear how many dogs this counts as. Probably lots. Oh! Oh, it's creepy! No! Ow, 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 ow! Oh dear. It's watching you intently. How about we beckon it to play? You call the amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. <laughs> ah! Oh no! It's gonna kill me! <laughs> I'm gonna die so bad. Uh, Amagma is hovering close, looking for affection. Let's pet it. You pet the Amagma! It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quietly on your lap for a moment. Zzz. Suddenly, it shoots away and crawls wildly on the walls. Oh. No. Please don't kill me. I want to be your friend! <laughs> oh, that was close. Amagma is striking the wall with its claws. Uh... Do you think playing or ignoring would be best? Let's play? You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. Amalgamate brings it back for you. Proudly? You repeat this process a few times. Now Amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Aww. Alright, oh, okay. Dodge! Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh. Wow. Bummer. <laughs> I guess I gotta repeat that. Okay, sure. The amalgamate right now is <laughs> twitching affectionately. Uh, so, if I play with it one more time, would that be great or should I ignore it? Uh, let's play one more time? I'll pet it. You pet the amalgamate. It starts to generate a stage one happiness froth. Oh my gosh. Ow. Oh, it's so strong. <laughs> Ooh. Amalgamate's convulsions intensify! Gosh, how many more things do I need to do here? Uh, let's play with it some more? Amalgamate seems too tired to play. Oh no, that was a bad choice. That was a bad choice, okay. Oh, ow. Okay, I'm gonna have to use an item. Beauty cycle, sure. <laughs> you eat the unicycle. Okay, good. Ow. This thing hurts. It's so powerful. Convulsions intensify. Okay. Uh, should pet it some more. Ooh! <laughs> you pet decisively. The Amalgamate seems to be satisfied by all of this. Yay! Endogeny is contented. How oh, good. Goodbye. You won. Okay, so one thing I was going to say before that battle is that... It seems that uh, Alphys' experiments to solidify a soul outside of a monster's body somehow led to the creation of Metaton. That's what it seems like. Um, I've been reading these entries- oh, hi! <laughs> I've been reading these entries in a little bit of a random order since I'm just exploring around. Golden flowers. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. Well, there we go. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters. Just as a human cannot absorb a soul. So then, 
What about something that's neither human nor monster? Well, how about a robot? <laughs> Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyway. The seats just stick to you and won't let you go. I have a feeling one of these mirrors is going to be a different reflection. Something creepy. Oh. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh! So scary! Oh my gosh, what even is this? These horrible monsters down here. Uh, let's check it. That is nuts. Incredibly helpful. <clears throat> hmm. Try to see if, uh... No. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. Something something you. Uh, hello? Oh. You're, in, you're being attacked by butterflies? That's interesting. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, can I can I clean it? Perhaps would that help? I'll pray for it. Let's pray for it. You kneel and pray for safety. Remember its consciousness. Conscience. Something, something, something. Look. Oh, oh my gosh! I'm being attacked by the butterflies. No, no. Okay, that didn't work, did it? Uh, hum. You hum a familiar tune, but no one heard you. Something enough. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Your heads! What's going on with your heads? This is not- Oh dear. Uh, uh, it's just so random. Clean, I guess? You wash your hands, nothing happened. No! Oh, I think I saw something about pick on me. Do I have to pick on it? It's like he said it just before it got covered up. Okay, here you go. You pick on. It seemed effective. Yes! Uh, something, something, pick on me. Yeah, yeah. No! No more wibbly heads, please. Put your head back on. <laughs> oh, I still can't... Oh, no. Uh, mystifying it? You did something mysterious. Reaper bird seems to remember something. Oh, it's Reaper bird. Okay. Someone finally gets it. <laughs> ah! Butterfly face, no! This is so really weird. Reaper bird seems placated. Oh, good. Mercy. <laughs> Whew. I need to eat another bicycle. Okay. What's down here? Ooh, ah. Do I have a key for this one, though? There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out? Cold. That's all you could read. So the key is somewhere cold. Some kind of switch. There's a blue colored slot on the center. Alright, so I don't have the item required to open that. Just gonna check this mirror here. No, nothing. Okay. So let's go find somewhere cold, I guess? I gotta say, it's been a little while since I uh, had played this, so I'm not quite sure where things are anymore. Um... Yeah, it just mustn't be in this room at all. Oh, wait! Uh, wasn't there... There was a room where you can't see in, up here, I think. And if you're feeling around the room, you touch something cold. I think I remember that. Uh, but I don't, I don't know if it was up here or somewhere else, though. But I'll check, I'll check over here since we're here now. Okay, that's not it. Oh my gosh. That thing is creepy. Uh, oh. I don't remember this room. Entry number 19. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Refrigerators are cold, right? It seems to contain samples of some kind. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. Four about everyone being angry. One about this cute teacup he found that looks like me. Thanks, Asgore. <laughs> okay, this is shaking. This is gonna be a monster. Please don't kill me. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. Oh. Why is it shaking? Entry number 21. I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Okay. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some kind. It's a refrigerator. It seems to... It's empty. Oh. What about the one that's... 
Oh. I was going back to the one that was uh, shaking. <laughs> it's so cold. Oh. Oh. Let's see. Uh, let's laugh. This is the jokey one, right? You laugh and keep laughing. It's so funny, you can't stop. Tears run down your face. What? You didn't do that? Snowy. Oh, it's so sad. It's so cold. Uh, we should try a joke? You told a bad pun about snow. Her expression starts to shift. Ha! I remember! Yeah. Oh, it's so cold. Let's tell another joke, I guess. Changes more. Yes! Thank you. Oh, this is... This is just so sad. She's completely calmed down. You won. That's it. Oh, there's the key! Yes! What's through here, though? Oh, this is a green door. There's no on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain! Oh, wait, I already got this key. Yeah. I don't remember coming down here before, though, so that's kind of weird. This thing's so shaking. Why is it so shaking? Very creepy. Okay, let's go put this key in the, uh, the last hole, I think. I think it's the last one. I think this is the last one now. Click the blue key fits perfectly into the slot. So we've got blue, green, red, and yellow. I think there was only four, so I'm going to try and find the door that was originally locked and uh, see if we can get through it now. Get elevator, but it looks like I'm missing one still. So I'm going to have to have a look around and see if I can figure out where uh, the last yellow key is. Hmm, where could it be? Ah! Oh right, this is the room with the yellow slot. There we go, so I did have the yellow key. Perfect, okay. I wonder why I forgot to put that in there. <laughs> I suppose it doesn't matter now. Now we get to go to the elevator and uh, we get to get out of here. Hopefully. I don't know what's gonna await us though. Let's save the game first, it's probably a good idea. I have a feeling there's gonna be a big fight. <laughs> But this is, it's all kind of interesting that uh, this alternate ending seems to be taking me down a really different path from what I would have normally done. I find that kind of interesting. I might not even have to fight Asgore at all at the end of this. Okay, so there's a tunnel, tunnel to the left. Let's see. Uh, it seems to be turned off. Oh. It seems to be turned off. Oh. What is this? It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on? Yes. It's a robot or something. It's got like a little face on it. No! Oh. My gosh. Hi guys! Huh? I can't move right now. <laughs> hey, stop! Okay? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for saving me. <laughs> Sorry about that. They get kinda sassy when they don't get fed on time. I think they smelled the potato chips you had. And, anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This is probably just a big inconvenience for you, but I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I'm afraid I might not come back. But that's not because these guys are anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid. To tell the truth. That I might run away. Or do something. Cowardly. Uh, I... I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asko asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated power I call determination. I injected it into dying monsters so their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take these concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt. I lost what they physically had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those... 
seeing, seeing her like this, I knew I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it. No matter how much everyone was asking me, it will work knowing everything I've done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all of this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard. Being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there will be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there will be times where I screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Yay! <laughs> Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. Oh, I'm safe. Phew. And the elevator is working now, right? So I can... Oh! Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet, but I, because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. Hmm. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder. What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? <gasps> Is he talking about Flowey? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. That's totally Flowey the flower, right? Oh, who's calling me? It's a voice you have never heard before. Damien, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Damien, see you soon. Who was that? A voice I'd never heard before. Oh! Is this all stuck now? The door is jammed shut with the vines. It feels like I'm at the end of the game now. Yeah! What? Can I use this elevator? I can! Oh, nice! <gasps> what the heck? And Sans isn't here this time either. Is this going to play out completely differently? Next time on Undertale. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh! Toriel? Is that Toriel? It is! <gasps>